Hi everyone! Today I have a stretching routine for you. So once you're finished a workout or a class, this is going to be a great way to limber up and stretch out those muscles. Because we're going to be holding those stretches just a little bit longer today, of course you want to go to what you're comfortable with as well, but you want to make sure you're very, very warm. So that's why I suggest completing a workout or a class before you do this stretching routine. Whether your workout consists of, you know, five minutes of jogging or running or walking, jumping jacks, whatever you feel like you need to do just to get your body warm, you just want to make sure that we're preventing any injuries from happening. So let's get onto our mat and we'll get stretching. We'll see you after class. To begin, we're going to start off on all fours and curve that back and release, making sure you're breathing, bringing that belly button right up to the ceiling. And slowly start to circle that spine, relaxing through the hips. And other side. We're going to lift that leg and curve the spine, stretching right through the quad and curve. And other side, stretch and curve, belly button lifted. Release and stretch into child's pose, taking nice deep breaths. Reaching that right arm up, circle out that wrist, stretch that side of your body, and switch sides. and rolling up through that spine. Rolling onto the back, bring your right leg in towards your chest. Relax your hips. Stretching right from behind that hamstring. Point and flex the foot articulating all the way through, right through the ankles, through the toes. Bend and stretch the leg. Stretch that bottom leg elongating through the quad, hold that stretch. Take that right arm and release that leg over to the side. Continue to keep the opposite hip along the floor. Bring that leg back up and cross the right leg over top of the opposite leg and pull those knees in towards your chest for a deeper stretch. Relax the 
relax those glutes from side to side. Allow the legs to fall over to the opposite side, stretching or relaxing that right shoulder along the floor. Feel that nice twist through the spine and through the body. Bring it back to center and switch legs. As you stretch the other leg, you really want to think about trying to stretch both legs as even as possible. Using all the articulation through the feet, through the legs, working both sides evenly. As you cross your left foot over the top, you really want to get a good stretch through those glutes. We work them really, really hard in classes, so you really want to give them a good stretch. Shake them out side to side. Relax and massage that lower back. And cross that left leg over top, letting it fall over to the right side and stretch that left arm over, feeling that opposition through the spine. As you finish off both sides, you're going to bring your knees and feet together and just rock out that lower back. Give it a nice massage. Stretching up those legs, you can kind of do whatever you like here. And start to make your way up onto a seated position. For this next one, you just want to make sure that you're situated with enough space. And we're going to open up the feet and relax the inner thighs. Stretching all the way from our hips down to our toes. Circling out those ankles. Bending and stretching through those legs. articulating through the feet and ankles. And close up those knees and make your way onto your side, onto a seated position. Once you've made your way onto a seated position, we're going to take that same stretch, opening up from the top of the hips and lengthening out through one leg, making sure that that opposite hip is still staying along the floor. Relax your spine, relax your neck, stretch all the way through the ends of the toes, and change sides. Keeping that opposite hip down. And 
hand rolling up. Reaching up and over with one arm, keeping that chest open. Stretch the side of the body. Reach that hand back, relax your shoulder, relax your hands, and bring it forward over top of that leg. Changing sides. Open up the shoulders, keeping the tops of those legs lifted up towards the ceiling, opening up through the hips, pressing that hand back, and relax forward, rolling it up. Reaching right out of the hips, you're going to open and close those arms, squeezing the belly button back as you try and maintain that stretch through the legs. Closing one leg, bring your body over top of the knee that's closest. And stretch over the stretched leg. Keeping that bent leg down towards the floor. Rolling up and change sides. Both hips down, roll it down towards that bent knee. And bring your body weight over top of the stretch leg. feet together, lifting up through the spine, roll it through. So you're working right through the spine, lifting out of the hips, lift the chest. Relax the hips. Relax the neck. place ourselves into a long runner stretch. So we're going to stretch your right quad behind, roll the body forward, no tension through those hip flexors, reaching that back arm, switching sides, Reach the front arm. Bring both hands down and turn your body so that your weight is placed either in the center or over top of your left leg. Stretch through that hamstring, quads are up towards the ceiling, point and flex that ankle for a little bit more of a stretch and release. Switching sides, bring your body weight over and left leg long around the floor. Stretch the hip flexor nice and long. Relax that left leg, no tension. Stretching one arm up. And switch arms. Place those hands down and turn your body weight sideways onto that right leg. Stretch that left hamstring.
point and flex the ankle as you wish. Get right through that articulation in the feet. And slowly make your way up into second position. Bring your body weight forward just to give a little bit more resistance into those legs. Either use your elbow or your hands just to press gently. Give you a little bit more of that extra resistance with the stretch. Relax that body, bringing it over to one side, squaring off those hips. Try and keep those heels along the floor, relax the neck. And rock it out back and forth. Hold the stretch and slowly make your way onto the other side. Place those feet wider than the hips, but still enough that you can get those hips square. Relax the back, relax the neck, hamstrings, and rock it out back and forth. Forward and back, articulating through the feet. Feel that stretch through the back of the legs. Start to bring those feet together. Bend and stretch as you wish. Getting a little bit more of a deeper stretch and place those feet back into more of a downward dog. Articulating through the feet, rolling up and down. Feel that really good stretch right through those calves right through the Achilles. Walk, walk, walk. Walk those hands in. Let the head and neck dangle, shoulders relaxed, and slowly roll yourself up. Head last. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for your stretching routine for today, and I'll see you in the next one.